good morning. We're just sitting off Millport at the moment. Wind's just dropped off. Lovely sunny morning, it's towards the end of October and I'm going to sail around Butte today. At least that's the plan. I was wanting to go to Rathlin, but it's too windy. There was a lot of wind earlier in the week and there's a storm due to arrive tomorrow. 40 knots of wind-ish. So I want to get out and round Butte today, back to Largs tonight, that is the idea. And I'm glad I came out because it's absolutely gorgeous. The sun's just come up over the hill and it's quite mild. So just need the wind to pick up a little bit. It's forecast to fill in over the course of the day. I think it will be blowing about 20 knots by mid to late afternoon. And then it's really going to pick up through the night and into tomorrow. So we're currently doing about two knots which is very peaceful, but is not going to get us around Butte in a day. But I am really quite keen to sail all day today, if possible. And I think the wind is due to start picking up. So usually once the, the sun starts to heat the land up, there'll be a little bit of offshore breeze. And that is the forecast for the wind to be coming kind of northeasterly off the land. So we'll have the wind behind us up into West Kyle. So we'll see if that works out. But I'm very pleased I came out. It's lovely and warm, beautiful day, really peaceful. Lots of wildlife, bird life kicking about in the water, which is really, really pleasant. So let's see how we get on. Hopefully it'll be a nice day. Wind's picked up nicely, it's doing 10, 11 knots now, so we are doing about 5 knots boat speed and that should just continue to build over the course of the day. So, perfect breeze, lovely and sunny and we're just coming around the bottom corner of Butte, the south corner of Butte, and then we'll go up in between Inchmarnock Island and Butte and into West Kyle. That's us there just coming around the bottom corner of Butte and then we'll come up and we'll come, that's Inchmarnock Island so we'll come in between Butte and Inchmarnock and then we go up into West Kyle and then we go through the Burnt Isles which is quite a nice little bit in, in there, nice little tight spot through the little islands, back out through East Kyle and then we come down past Port Valentine, Rothsey, and then I think it'll be quite windy just coming back across past Cumbre and into Largs. Very nearly lost another drone there. It was a little bit breezy, but I was using a larger drone, so because the little ones struggle in the wind sometimes. But yeah, it's uh, they're quite powerful to bring in on a moving boat, and it actually, believe it or not, it touched the rigging, it touched the cables for the for the rig. Um, I managed to keep flying it and caught it, so 
It's always a bit of a stress putting a drone up on a boat. But look at this, unbelievable. We're just, getting, we're just in the lee of Butte now, going along the south coast of Butte. And so the wind's dropped off, but it's just, it's so peaceful today. We really are flying now, we're right over seven and a half knots boat speed. Beautiful day, look at that. Right, how is our course? You see we're just coming into West Kyle there. We're going to get a good bit of wind through this gap, I think. A boat up ahead looks like a training boat because they're doing all sorts of weird stuff, so I think they must be practicing. Probably makes sense to put a reef in before we go into West Kyle because there's a lot less space in there to put a reef in, whereas I've got loads of space here. But also I think the wind may be less in there. Look at that. Yeah, I, th I think it's time to reef. Let's do it. Come on. coming into West Kyle and I think we're getting a little bit of shelter from the hills so it's a little bit more comfortable now, it's going about 20 got a first reef in, we're doing 7 knots I think going up into East Kyle though we're going to be going straight into the wind so it may be sails down motor on and then hopefully we'll get an angle on it to get from Rossi or from the exit of East Kyle to Largs. You never know though, the wind's always a bit strange in the in the Kyles, so you never quite know what to expect. Could be a bit of a surprise, but I think we'll be going into it in East Kyle. We'll soon see. Right, we're just coming up to Tinnebruch and we're going to have to turn right, which is north, and into the wind. So I think we're going to turn into the wind and furl the jib. And then I'll tighten the main sheet, just leave the main sail up. We might get a sail up East Kyle, we'll soon find out.
motoring straight into the wind. We're nearly at the corner where we turn into East Kyle at the Burnt Isles. But we're going straight into wind. And we're definitely a little bit sheltered so the wind's dropped. It's such a beautiful spot. I love going through the Kyles. The colours are really autumnal. All the browns. All the ferns and everything are going brown. Beautiful. Oh, it's 
sport speed. That's us just up about the North Cardinal marker, just before you go off into Port Bannantyne and once we get up to that, I'm going to be able to bear off and head towards the north of Cumbria and that's going to get us a better angle on the wind because we're just pretty tight to the wind at the moment and it's pretty decent, it's blowing 22 to 25 but I've put another reef in, so I've got the third reef in now and that's pretty comfortable to be honest. And I think it should hopefully be a little bit more consistent coming out across here because it was uh, really gusty and just coming in or just coming out easy Kyle there. So, right, I'm going to go and just bear off 10 degrees now. Rothsey there behind me so we're just going past Rothsey the wind is absolutely perfect so I'm just leaving the sails as they are we're doing about five knots four and a half five knots really really nice and we've got the line for just getting around the north of Cumbria so that's pretty cool and to be honest I'm not in a massive rush to get back because this could well be the last sail of the season and it's a lovely sunny day and I'm enjoying being out on the water so I'm in no rush to get back to Largs not quite yet thank you for watching see you next season